This program is brought to you through the support of the following sponsors. A very pleasant day, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron Belosreyes, and today I'm coming to you from the beautiful town of Palapag in Northern Samar. And uh, this is one of the old houses in uh, Palapag, uh, built in uh, the 19. Uh, 30s. We drove a long way logging almost 1,300 kilometers on this trip because of so many long drives along the way. Of course, we passed through Bitukang Manok in Atimonan, Quezon. Beautiful roadway. It cuts travel time by about uh, 15 minutes instead of using the regular highway. It's always a challenging drive for the driver and the machine to pass by Bitukang Manok. Of course, we use this vehicle, the Isuzu N-Series smoother truck. It has the first in its class automated manual transmission. So we use automatic or AMT all the way and uh, it passed the test on Bitukang Manok. We proceeded then to our next uh, destination which is uh, the Bicol region and uh, pass through the various towns, scenic towns of that of uh, Quezon province. And from uh, the Bicol region, we stayed for the night at uh, the Sorsogon Diversion Lodge, where we took a six hour uh, rest. On the next day, we continued with our journey going to uh, Matnog in Sorsogon. That's, the, of course, as we know it, the last uh, town in Luzon Island. In the meantime, let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. The Toyota Motor Philippines School of Technology or TMP Tech recently held commencement exercises for batch 12 and 13 of the Toyota General Job or GJ Automotive Servicing Course. The graduation ceremony for 176 students was held at the Toyota Motor Philippines' Industrial Complex in Santa Rosa City, Laguna. TMP Tech's General Job Auto Servicing Course follows the prescribed curriculum of Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESTA. Under the course, students undertake TESDA National Certification Levels 1 to 4, equivalent to Pro Technician Level of the globally known Toyota Education Automotive Mastery for the 21st century. During the graduation ceremony, Guest of Honor TESDA Region 4 Director Tony Jun Tamayo cited TMP Tech's resilience during the pandemic and its efforts to continue the mission to provide Filipino youth with quality automotive education. Since it started operations in 2013, TMP Tech has produced over 1,500 graduates from various automotive courses. Kia Philippines is giving a special limited offer for the Kia Forte with a discounted price of 869,000 pesos. The Forte offers superior features and specifications for a compact sedan and delivers excellent comfort and fuel efficiency, perfect for daily drives, not to mention a sophisticated design as well. 
The Kia Forte is now available with up to 226,000 pesos in savings at the discounted price of 869,000 pesos. This offer includes Kia's 5-year or 160,000-kilometer warranty as well as 24-7 roadside assistance that's free for 5 years. To take a closer look at the Kia Forte, visit a Kia dealership today or check out the Kia Philippines website. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Suzu D-Max into new heights. Hino Motors Philippines and JNT Express strengthen ties with the renewal of their strategic partnerships. The new partnership covers a new deal for more than 100 units of Hino trucks. Present at the event were key officers of JNT led by CEO Dean Ding and executives from Hino Motors Chairman Vicente Mills and President Mitsuharu Tabata as well as Hino Motors Paranaque President Edward Tan. Being one of the biggest logistics service providers in the country, JNT Express is keen on further enhancing operations this year in their goal to reach more and more Filipinos. Take the lead. What do we go for? 
we go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Auto review continues, and today on our test drive and special feature, we'll let you in on a trip we did recently using the Isuzu N-Series Smoother. This is from Quezon City to Northern Samar in the Visayas. The Smoother, launched in October 2021, is Isuzu's first light-duty truck installed with the automated manual transmission or AMT technology an innovative intelligent gear shift system. The smoother operates without the clutch pedal and achieves automatic shift change by computer control. This means the driver gets the performance of a manual transmission on a two-pedal operation. Or basically, the smoother provides the combined advantages of an AT's easy driving operation and MT's fuel efficiency. The truck is powered by the 3-liter 4JJ1 TCC engine that is a four-cylinder turbo intercooler DOHC Common Rail Direct Injection Blue Power Diesel Engine with a maximum output of 124 horsepower and a torque of 354 Newton meters. It is equipped with Isuzu's latest transmission model MYY6S, which is a six speed AMT or automated manual transmission. The gross vehicle weight is 4,490 kilograms and can be fitted with various body applications. set for a five-day out and back drive estimated at close to 1,800 kilometers. We started in Quezon City where we loaded the truck with furniture, mattresses, and a bike. It was filled to the brim. We would transport the items to an ancestral house in a town called Palapag. Our three-man crew was composed of Hermes Cannon, David Madrid, and yours truly. We would be alternating as drivers. First stop was at a clean fuel station on Mayon Street, Quezon City, for a full tank and tire pressure check. We then took the SLEX and on to Star Tollway and various towns in Batangas. Lunch was at the Carinderia by the Depression Road in Sariaya, Quezon. We had a good one. Alright, our first stop on during this trip is in the town of Sariaya in Quezon and we had a uh, Late lunch here at uh, Just Do Eat. Spelled with an E A T. <laughs> the food is good. It's good to discover places like this when you go on a long drive. And of course, we're using the new Isuzu Smoother. This is the truck with the automated manual transmission, which means you can travel.
using automatic transmission and we get to enjoy the drive and the views around us. Again, thank you to Isuzu Philippines for uh, providing our test vehicle and of course, clean fuel. Maraming salamat po. Then, we took the smoother to the challenging Bitukang Manok in Atimonan, Quezon. a one lane uh, pass. to the coastal towns of Quezon until we reach Kalawag, the gateway to Bicolanja. The truck drove easy and smoothly as expected. We spent the night at a diversion hotel in Sorsogon. The next day, we had breakfast in Sorsogon at a restaurant owned by a former Isuzu Philippines employee. We then proceeded to Matnog and bought our tickets for the Roro ride to Allen Northern Summer. Uh, we're here in Matnog, uh, Source of Rock, and uh, we just came from uh, the entrance of uh, the port and uh, our Suzu Smoother with automatic transmission is now on board and we're just waiting for this uh, ferry to fill up and then uh, the ship will go. From here in Matnog, we are going to land at the port of Allen in Northern South. So this has been a long journey and this is just a part of uh, this uh, voyage using the Suzu N-Series smoother truck for Singapore metal service.
Upang matagal ang kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nang tatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo ang iyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Strata Athlete. Unleash the Athlete. Clean fuel, quality fuel for less. Now open to serve you in Olongapo City. Welcome back to Auto Review, and we now turn to our motorsports report. We're here at the Clark International Speedway in Pampanga. And after a long while, like uh, more than two years, uh, the BIOS Cup is now on its eighth edition. This uh, event started uh, some, some eight years ago, and then uh, the last on-site event was held in 2020, and then last year, they had a virtual Gazoo racing. But now, the racers are back at the venue, and so are the spectators. Of course, here at the BIOS Cup, they have the Celebrity Edition, the Media Edition, and they also have the Sporting Class, Promotional Class, Super Sporting. You have various levels of skills uh, for the participants, but uh, just the same, every race is exciting as in the past years. Let's take a look at the results. The Speedway again roared with the excitement of a live crowd as motorsports enthusiasts were welcomed back in the grandstands. Winners for the Super Sporting Class were John Dizon of Obengers Team, Inigo Anton of Toyota North Edsa Obengers Team, and Daryl Galeon of Toyota Marilao Obengers Team. What it takes to be a racer is determined to win and focused, dedicated, motivated, and it becomes a passion in the life of the driver. Patience lang overall and then focus on driving, make sure you don't make mistakes. Kasi pag nagkamali ka, malaki na yung mawawala sa'yo sa oras. Uh, wow, it was um, a lot of preparation. BS Cup is the hardest um, series here in the Philippines. And going up to Super Sporting, I'm, a, I'm against all the best racers here. So it was a lot of mental training every month, just thinking about the races and a lot of practice sessions. And even just before the race, a lot of strategies are happening to try and do well in the race. So it takes a lot of time and preparation. Yeah, I would say I could do a lot of laps better there than what I was, but it was in the heat of the moment and sometimes we make mistakes with our strategy calls. For, you know, the, the three laps to go, John tried to pass me the same way, was able to fend it off, but in the next lap he had a counter strategy and was able to um, pass me and hold it. So, couldn't do so much there, but um, it was fair play to him.
Troy Montero from Toyota Gazoo Racing PH won the sporting class, followed by Roy Sarmiento of RMS Cars Racing Team and Joaquin Garrido of Toyota Otis Obengers Racing Team. In the promotional class, Alain Alzona of Alzona Racing Team grabbed first place, followed by Alan Plasios and Ian Robles from Toyota Cebu. Meanwhile, in the Autocross Challenge, first-timer Benedict Kua claimed the top spot for the Influencer Promotional Class, while Gino Quillamor won in the Influencer Sporting Class. For the Media Class, Auto Industria's John Lacuna won the Sporting Class, as Yuga Auto took the trophy for the Promotional Class. This year, Toyota Gazoo Racing Gran Turismo Cup champions took their e-racing skills from the screen to the actual tracks. Here's the list of winners for the first leg of the Toyota Gazoo Racing Dios Cup 2022 for the Autocross Challenge and Circuit Championship. Coming from a very successful staging of the Toyota Gazoo Racing Dios Cup last year, which was a purely uh, virtual event, so we've seen how the people are uh, looking forward to be back on track again. So for this year, we planned on having our live audience back. So as mentioned, it was great last year when it was virtual. It was uh, a, a safe racing event. But then uh, you cannot deny the, the energy that the live audience and the live public brings during racing events like this. So we work extra hard uh, to get us all back on track again. But of course, with safety precautions in place, so now we are uh, happy that we are able to bring back to, to the racing fans, to the racing enthusiasts, the racing excitement and fun that uh, the BS Cup has been known for. Catch the second and third legs of the 2022 season of the Toyota Gazoo Racing BS Cup this August and November. And that's our Motorsports Report. Congratulations to all the winners in the 2022 Bios Cup or Gazoo Racing Bios Cup. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Isuzu Philippines Corporation for providing us our test vehicle this week. This is the Isuzu N series motor truck with the automated manual transmission. It was a big help for us because we transported a lot of big things in that box and brought it here in the Palapag Northern Summer. Thank you also to Clean Fuel uh, for their support. Thank you for the adventure uh, of this uh, journey. It's another unforgettable drive from Auto Review. Until next week at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.